What is e-commerce? For most of you, it's the idea of selling things online. But over this video series, I actually want to break that down. Because though in principle that's true, the concept of executing on e-commerce is different. You could be the stereotypical small business. You could be a mobile app. You could sell through subscription-based model, monthly subscription, yearly subscription. You could be ad-based. You can make money online through advertisements, through sponsored content. All of these have different models involved. We're gonna break down over this video series what exactly we're doing with e-commerce, all the different ways you might be able to do it yourself, and then how to best execute upon each of these through the way to build your online store, your online app, your product, to executing upon it, marketing it, making money from it, and what type of investment and time you're looking into each of these models. So let's begin. The first type of e-commerce, the stereotypical small business, your local consignment shop or your local contractor, whatever it might be. You go and enter your credit debit card information and through a transaction, a result happens. It could be booking a service, it could be buying a product, it could be something as black and white as that. This is the first type of e-commerce that we should talk about for traditional small businesses. This is the simplest version you can go about executing. Oftentimes, these are just small static websites not necessarily built to just generate sales. It could be also for the purpose of building exposure, things of that nature, but they do have the ability to handle and make money online. They might not have registration for checkouts. It just gets to a point. It just gets the job done. This is the most inherent version of what e-commerce is all about when it comes to the web and can relate to all kinds of businesses, small services, boutiques, usually it's for lower traffic where they handle e-commerce through multiple through methods. It could be both online, at your stores and events, etc. The second one is traditional e-commerce. A great example of this is any e-commerce that you go on where you can just search your products and you can go and purchase. Again, because I'm using the word traditional here and not marketplace, this isn't the type of e-commerce you're thinking of yet where you get multiple buyers and sellers. This is usually still singular. A single buyer and a single seller transacting with one another. A great example of this is Top Shelf Sports. Top Shelf Sports is a small business, but they take their e-commerce presence a little bit more seriously and in-depth than the traditional brick and mortar would. What they do is they do give you some extra features and functionality, such as the ability to search, the ability to log in and register, promo codes, discounts, but it's not a marketplace. There's not multiple buyers, there's not multiple sellers. It's just you as a consumer trying to buy a product or good from them. Another example of this would be Level on a Hanger. Another great example is Cruise Control. The third category, and usually one of the bigger ones, is the marketplace. Multiple buyers and multiple sellers, all transaction with one another, and usually a larger entity, they'll take a percentage of the cut or charge a subscription-based model to use the platform. A few examples of this is one, higher bid a place where you can bid on free time with service providers such as accountants and attorneys and web designers and they can auction it off. Or Treasury, a real-time marketplace where you can barter and negotiate and buy from antiques, trade shows, live events, things of that nature. Or Demander, where it completely flips the e-commerce mindset upside down by having the buyer demand what they want and how much the buyer wants to buy it for and have the sellers offer to them matching their offers or trying to negotiate. Last but not least, you might not think of this as e-commerce, but it is by definition subscription-based models, ad-based models. You probably use apps every day where maybe you pay 10 bucks a month like a Spotify or 12 bucks a month like a Netflix or maybe you're having ads sent to you like on Facebook. Though not in the traditional method, they are by definition e-commerce. On our next video, we're gonna break down in more detail which of these methods are right for you by understanding what makes each method work and tick.